What's up everybody, Jan Dutters here with a brand new tutorial video, back at it again with some special techniques and in today's video I'm going to show you how I have created this O in Illustrator. So yeah, let's dive right into the process. So first of all, we are going to create our rectangle by selecting the rectangle in the menu click and drag we want to create a long rectangle a long small one we are giving this a gray color now we are going to select the direct selection tool we are going to remove this bottom line and we are going to select the top anchor points and we are dragging these little circles to the middle because we want the corners to be rounded. Select the direct selection tool or the, just the selection tool I mean. Click on the object and we drag it to the left. So now we have one basic shape we are going to work with. Now we are going to create the pattern, the black and white stripes, which, which we are going to add on a 3D object in a later phase. So click on the rectangle tool again, drag a long, small rectangle and give it a black fill color. Okay. Now select the rectangle and drag it holding shift and option to the right side of it in this way he copies the rectangle next to the other rectangle and we are going to give it a white fill color so now we are selecting both rectangles and we are dragging it with holding shift and option again to the right side and now we are going to press command d a couple of times because what command D does is it duplicates the action we have just made. So in this case, it duplicates the copy we have just made. So we can make a lot of copies next to each other. So for now, we are going to select the pattern and we are going to drag it into the symbols panel. Um, black and white lines. We're going to name it black and white lines. If you don't have the symbols panel open, you can find it under window in the top menu and then press on symbols. Okay. This pattern we don't need at the moment. So we are going to drag this to the right side outside of our arbor board. And then we are going to create this 3d uh, effect revolve effect so how we are doing this is select the object go to effects go to 3d and materials and go to we're going to use a classic uh, revolve effect this one over here click on it and what this does it uh, turns the object around itself so we are going to set these uh, degrees all to zero and we are going to drag this bottom part down a little bit so we can um, watch into the hole we are going to set the off part offset to 50 maybe 40 maybe even 30 okay looks good and then we are going to uh, press on ok so now we have the 3d revolve effect and now we are going to add the pattern on it and to get back into the effect you can click on window appearance and in the appearance panel you can double click on the effects 
and then we get back into the um, screen for the 3D revolve option effect and then we are going to click on map art map art okay somehow it isn't working I think I need to select the object map art yes and now we are going to add the pattern we just have made onto the surfaces so when you click on symbol you see the pattern black and white lines we just have made you can click on it and select on the bottom left select to a skill to fit so it fits to the surface and we are going to do this with all surfaces and then we have the whole object covered with 3d stripes By the way, we also want to click on map art and click on invisible geometry. Press on OK and OK again. And this is what we get. So this is how this O is created. And you can now edit this object in Photoshop by give it some shadows. This makes it a little bit more realistic. So I want to thank you guys for watching, hope you have learned something and have fun creating. See you guys in my next video. video. Peace!